up? Yo, what up? This week, stuff, stuff's going on. I don't know. I'm reading from over there, so we'll figure it out. Tuesday, September 24th, cross country meet at Mount Pleasant. Thursday, September 26th, I'm doing this thing because I, I didn't read from that slide yet. Let me take a second to read it. Volleyball pool play is happening. That's what it says. All right, next one. Friday, 27th of September, football game at West Burlington. 28th, we got a volleyball tournament at SCC. Rachel's got two things going on this week, and of course we got yours truly with the with the music review. I love you. <laughs> on to the episode. Welcome back to Speedy Lightning Fast Music Review. This week we've got three songs. Are you? It's uh, that Soldier Boy song that everyone knows. Unfortunately, I don't think it's that great. It's it's not that interesting. It's not a whole lot to it. It just it's just kind of funny. So that's why it's just gonna be like a 2.2 out of 10 for me. Next song, Miami 2017, recommended by Mr. Milder. Gotta say, this song is pretty good. I like it. In the song, Billy Joel is talking about New York and how it gets pretty much just destroyed. And then he's in he's in Miami, Miami, Florida. That's why the song is called Miami 2017 because that's where he is. He's in Miami, and it's the year is 2017, and he's telling the story to his grandkids. Now that's pretty cool to me. So that's why this song is probably like a 6.3 out of 10. Pretty good, not too bad. Next song, Drew Scheidler recommended to me the song Roundabout. And I gotta say, I've already heard this song like a million times, and it's still good. It's got a lot of different parts to it. So in the beginning, it's got this. This thing going on. And then towards the middle, it's got this thing going on. And then towards the end of the song, it goes like, goes like this. And basically, it's crazy. Seven out of ten. Winner of this music review is Yes. Thank you, Yes, for making Roundabout one of my favorite songs. It's in my top 100, and it's like a 80. No, it's 92. Please leave a comment so that in two weeks from now, I will review your song. Enjoy the rest of this week's episode. Bye bye. Awesome. Doing fine. That's fair. How are you doing? Good. Good. Alright, starting the questions off hot here. Have you ever wanted to punch a student in the face? I could find myself a pretty patient person. It would take a lot. I don't, I've never been in a fight in my life, so I would assume I wouldn't start with a student. I'm not either. Uh, a liar. I'm not. Like, I mean, I've been frustrated and everything, but like, I've also never been in a fight. Uh, I've been hit once, but never in a fight myself, so like, I don't really want to be in one because that's a feather in my hat right now, I guess. No, I can't remember that. Liar. Why math? Like, that's the worst subject ever. Like, why math? So, uh, when I started here, my um, contract was partially for teaching business classes and partially an at-risk subject. So, um, Mr. Van Sickle actually asked me which core subject I was most comfortable with and math was the one that was the best for me. I think you just hit a nail on the head there. Okay. Um, the idea that it's a challenge, which makes it a lot of fun because uh, I enjoy puzzles and I also like the black and white kind of either you're wrong or you're right kind of uh, uh, idea. Yeah. Okay, and uh... <laughs> Alright, well those are gone. Um, I also, I mean, I like the, okay, thank you. <laughs> uh, the structure of math, so like it, it's like there's a flow to it, and like you just start at the problem and you work your way through and you end up here. It's very linear and it's very logical, and I really like uh, logic, and nice so that's always what I've been. Thanks, that's why yeah. I've been drawn to math. Coffee or tea? I actually drink decaf tea because I can't have caffeine. <laughs> tea. Okay. Tea. Tea. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Why? 
Um, I'm not a cat person, so I'm really, um, I just think dogs are super friendly and have personalities of their own, and so I'm really a dog person instead. Ooh. I'm a dog person. Dog, yeah. Even though I don't I like cats. gonna kill you. Uh, she knows I'm a dog person. <laughs> we just happen to have a cat. What is the best thing that happened to you last week? The best thing that happened to me last week is that I found out that my niece is pregnant with twins. Alright, last question to wrap things up. What is the best thing that happened to you last week? Let's see, best thing that happened last week? I think I had a good week. I thought I did pretty well in teaching. There's a couple days where I was, could have done better, but I thought overall I did pretty good. Too. Uh, mine was yesterday. I went to Red Lobster okay. and the shrimp. So there was that. Ate a lot of shrimp. That was probably the best thing. Infinity shrimp. Infinity <laughs> shrimp, yeah. Sideways eight. Oh, I went to a game with my sister. Iowa games. Rugby nice. games. It was cool. so, All right. Thanks, Rachel. Thank, Thank you. you. What is up, Falcon Weekly News Nation? This is a new segment, so just play along if you will. I know some of you older folks, <laughs> Mr. Lee, might want to listen to something like actual news, so I tried that out for about 20 minutes of searching online and came up with literally nothing good. The earth is dying, people are dying, and politics are still a thing, so literally nothing to report on. So then I tried to find some popular topics like leg wrestling or selfies gone wrong. I figured that wouldn't fit the persona that FDN is. So, there is a happy medium. This segment matters to people only if they choose to uh, participate during it during the day. So let's just get right into it. Happy National Fried Rice Day! Mmm, fried rice. It's the perfect side to any dish. Or you can make it a, you know, a main dish with like chicken, tofu, beef, you know, whatever. Well, let's be real here. Fried rice knows this place and that place is on the side of the dish. Now, I know you guys are dying to know how you guys can celebrate this holiday, you know. It's not like Christmas or Thanksgiving that has to do with like religion or, you know, something like a turning point in American history, but I'm telling you, you guys need to celebrate this. Join me, broskies, for you should grab yourself a bowl of fried rice at one of these listed muscatine options. But if it were up to me, Hai Chai is the only Chinese joint to have me completely wrapped around their finger. They have all you can eat on Mondays for only $7.99. Now, you might be asking yourself this part into this video, why the heck does this matter? And to answer that question, it doesn't. A fried rice pump it. A fried rice. Please sponsor us. A fried rice pump <laughs> Sponsor us, hi baby. <laughs> Please. A fried rice company paid the people at National Day Calendar to force people to celebrate this holiday so they would buy their product. So in actuality, I don't really know why someone would observe this holiday, but what I do know is two chefs, coincidentally from the same company that paid the National Day Calendar, broke into the Guinness World Records for the longest cooking marathon and cooked fried rice on this like skillet thing for like 42 hours. I know I couldn't do that, so kudos to them. They burned, they burned all that rice, Rachel. No, no, it was good. They burned it. This is that rice that they were doing it. Really? Alright, yeah, no. Well, I better wrap this up. I'm sure you guys are fried. That was not funny. <laughs> that was really not funny. Sorry if this was boring. I kind of had fun doing it, so if, you know, it makes somebody smile, it's worth it. Maybe. It was worth being late to fifth period to go get this from Hy-Vee, so. But, See you next time, but before then, advice time. Don't forget to check your email for things, okay? Miss Putnam sends you seniors and a bunch of you juniors, and everybody in the high school likes scholarships, and you know, your teachers are always me emailing you, so check it on the weekends, check it at night. Don't just check it because, you know, you're in class or whatever. Check your email, okay? Don't make Miss Putnam mad. She's a very nice woman, and she does not deserve to be angry, okay? She can be I, angry at Mr. Guns with all those cats. That's it. Oh, that's it. That's it for this week. Enjoy your fried rice. Uh, thanks for watching. I just recorded the intro. Gotta say, that intro was so fire. So, uh, see ya. <laughs>